The psyche of success is about defining who you are and who you want to be. The one thing. There is one word that you can use to filter your world for the next 12 months that will make a huge impact on your success. Problem is, I don't know what the word is. Only you know what the word is that's right for you. Now, when you think about the way that you would filter the things that you allow into your life, the first thing that you have to consider is, where do I want to be and who do I want to be one year from today? So I would encourage you to just take a few minutes and write down, one year from today, whatever the date is, here's who I am. Now, write it in present tense so that it makes the most sense to your subconscious mind. Your mind is divided between conscious and subconscious. A few other divisions in there if you get really technical, but we'll keep it simple for this illustration. Your conscious mind has the capacity to process 2,000 bits per second of information. That's a lot of information. But your subconscious mind has the ability to process 400 billion bits per second. The difference here is if I were to take a 16 ounce glass of water, I could fill a glass of water in 60 seconds with my conscious mind, with each bit being a drop, or I could fill an Olympic sized swimming pool with my subconscious mind, with each bit being a drop. That's a pretty massive difference between 16 ounces and however many gallons are in an Olympic sized pool. What I want you to do is I want you to think about if you had to filter what's most important to you, what would the word be that describes that? I've had one year that I used the word focus. I've had another year that I used the word produce. I've had another year that I used the word family. So whatever your word is, pick a word, and then when you're about to do something, filter it through the word. Does this help me advance in this specific area? If it doesn't help you advance in that area, don't do it. Just do something else that does actually apply to your filter word. If you'll do that, you'll be able to notice things that you never would have noticed before. In your subconscious mind, you have what's called the reticular activating system. What this system does is it allows you to filter what goes into conscious awareness. So when you set your subconscious on success and on filtering the things that are the most important, you actually stop noticing a lot of the distractions and the things that are most important come into greater awareness for you. You want to make sure that you've got your filter set correctly. If you walk around griping and complaining all the time, your filter is set to notice all the things to gripe and complain about and how bad the world is. Set your filter for what you want and you will find the success that you're looking for. The world doesn't change for you. You change your world. You, you can't actually create more time, but you can just make time for the things that matter the most. Go through the book, go through the study with several of your friends, and for heaven's sake, tell somebody about this. I'm Jody Holland, covering the book Just Make Time. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'm Jody Holland with the Psyche of Success video blog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share it with your friends. Find me on Facebook. Look for Jody Holland Training and Speaking. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, Jody N. Holland. Can't wait to see you on next week's episode.